let me just open putty i'll open node mcu now i'm just connecting to network yeah my connection to the network is proper temperature is 26 humidity is 64 vibration is zero now let me see on the dashboard yeah something is appearing so now you can see the uh, the update of data here is uh, quite a bit fast when compared to that now let me vibrate my breadboard i'll see whether breadboard data will be uh, vibration data will be updated or not yeah my vibration data is also updated what am i seeing in my putty vibration status is around 4 2 so this graph is also updating this is quite fast when compared to things because the update rate is around 2 seconds here there it is around 5 seconds you will not see the immediate change and uh, with this i hope uh, i have explained you better about how to see the status over uh, inqtd block and also http broker uh, this particular uh, broker adafruit is quite user friendly and intuitive and uh, the look is also proper and you will not find any too much problems and there is also um, user manuals and uh, help manuals from adafruit I personally prefer Adafruit over uh, ThingSpeak. And now in the coming lecture, we'll try to uh, create a button or a control interface on the Adafruit and we'll try to control any uh, LEDs or any devices. If you can control an LED from uh, internet, you can con uh, control any device. So it's just a GPIO pin status. So I'll show you how to control a LED from your Adafruit I.O. Just by clicking on or off from anywhere in the world, you can just control your devices. Thank you.